Man, I tell you, old Shane Steele, he'll tell you he was the last one to do everything. And I guess this time around, he probably was the last one to jump on our kill light bandwagon. Everybody else, all the other pro staffers had already gotten a nice big hog or actually two, three, or four big hogs under that kill light. But Shane got us all looking bad because he got the biggest one. Check it out. All right, folks, I got to tell you, I was fired up. Several of the pro staff guys had already taken several hogs underneath this kill light that I heard so much about, and I was ready to get my opportunity. I could not have been more excited about this. Chad called me up and let me know that he was going to the lease um, in mid-August, and so I said, yeah, I want to I wanna be there and have my part in this. All right, folks, I couldn't be more excited. What I hold here in my hand is a secret weapon. It's called the kill light. LEDs, baby. It's the first time I've ever been out nighttime hog hunting, but this is a secret weapon right here that we got set up underneath the feeder. It's either magnetically attached, or you can see this little clamp right here that you can hang it from your varmint cage. This dude is going to get you into the woods to see what you normally don't see at night. So uh, we're going to head out there. Like I said, it's my first time doing this for a nighttime hog hunt, so uh, y'all come on with us. Let's see what happens. It was about 102, 103 all day long. It's mid-August, so we're right in the middle of a Texas summer hot folks so we waited until the sun started to go down we we climbed up in that stand around 9 30. you know i always get excited about hunting there's no lie about that but there's something about getting to your stand and you know it's the middle of the night and that feeder goes off and the quiet woods erupt with sound I thought it was a cow. That hog cleared the darkness and got into the light. My heart started racing immediately. I knew if I could get a good shot off, that would most definitely be the biggest hog I have ever taken. talk about excited. This big old boar came in between me and the feeder. You talk about an adrenaline dump. One of the beauties of using this kill light is you can set your tripod, your ground blind, whatever system you're using 10 yards away from the feeder. You're in pitch darkness. They can't see you. You don't even have to wear camouflage. Oh my lord, I can hear him over here, he's crashing. Dude, Jack, give me a bump. Man, that is the biggest hog, y'all, I have ever seen in person, much less shot at. That thing came off over here from our right. I didn't know what it was. I've never heard anything like that. It, it was shaking its head like a, like a dog flapping its ears or something. And it, it, you saw the slobber from his mouth. It, it sounded like a dog lapping or something. I, when it came in, it came in from the backside and circled us around, circled around on us. I had no idea what it was at first in the shadows over there, and then it was a hawk. I bet you that thing's 400 pounds. I, I, I got to calm down. We, Chad, we got to get out and go find this thing, man. It's down right over here. I heard it crash. I, I think I punched right through that front shoulder. You saw that Luminoc light up as he was running off, bouncing off. I know I sound like a fool here, but I have never shot something that big before. That is crazy. I'm at a loss for words. I don't think I can get down, dude. I have to sit here. I, I got to get down. We got to go see this thing. You talk about excited. I knew I made a perfect shot. I turned around to Chad and my cameraman. You talk about freaking out. We were both just stoked. The adrenaline dump that came after that was just incredible. Hunting under these kill lights, amazing stuff. That's all I can say. Hey, looky right here. Looky right here. What is that? That is my Luminox sticking up in the air. I bet you there's a pig at the bottom of that arrow. Oh my Lord. 
mercy, are you seeing what I am seeing here? Oh my Lord, look at that. I cannot believe the size of that thing. Wow. And look at that plate. I tell you what, that shoulder plate did its job, but not enough for that muzzy broadhead. Oh my Lord, I cannot believe this. Well, there you have it. My first nighttime hog hunt with a kill light. It doesn't get any better than that. I have yet to kill a hog that big since, and I've been several times. I tell you what, if you don't have one of these kill lights, you better go get one because it is some kind of crazy exciting. Oh my gosh, oh my God, oh my Lord. Lips were slapping around, and then it was a hog. I am uh, I'm a little bit out of breath here. Those ears were flapping, and then it was a hog. Are you kidding me? Oh my Lord, and that thing walks in? I just didn't know they made them that big. I've never heard anything like that. He was shaking his head. I'm dizzy. And then it was a hog. Those ears were flapping. And then it was a hog. It was shaking its head. You saw the slobber from his mouth. And then it was a hog. Lips were slapping around. I gotta calm down. It's a monster. And then it was a hog. Those ears were flapping. Oh my Lord. I don't know what it was. And then it was a hog. I just didn't know they made them that big. Are you kidding me? And then it was a hog. Oh my gosh, I'm dizzy. That is crazy. I'm at a loss for words.